Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Last time, we unfortunately had a, a forceful ejection of Brittany from the Drake, and we've since found her, but Alpha is still feeling a little guilty. So, hopefully we can cheer him up today on day six. So if you remember, we were in the process of collectively having the two of them work together to build some bridges in order to reunite. So hopefully we can get some good work today. There is some fruit we can we can collect and that's always helpful. So you'll notice that uh, some of our, pro our progress has been undone, so we'll have to fix that. That's okay. Looks like we've got a call first from Brittany. Brittany seems to be pretty okay with the great outdoors, even when it's in an arctic tundra. Which is funny though, because if you look at the map of, you know, the Earth that, or PNF 404, sorry, that the Pikmin captains are on, or the Copite captains, I'm just using all wrong words today. Australia and Antarctica are fused together. That's where the Garden of Hope and the Tropical Wilds are. So the the uh, the distant tundra where we are must be somewhere completely different. But Brittany is getting the she's getting hangry, getting the rumblies in her tumbly, and she wants some food. So we're gonna help her out. So as you can see, the blue bridge that we have here is close to being done, but not quite. And we have some areas here that we're unable to do much with currently because of the golden gate that we have here. So once again, electricity in areas where you've got those specific gates can be taken down by yellow Pikmin, but we're not quite ready for that yet. So we're gonna use our reds here to burrow away in this area. Good job, guys. Wonderfully done. And we're gonna reconvene. Now this is the other side of where we were before with these whatever electric majigs. I forget what they're called, I have no idea, but that's okay. What we really need actually today is to do some pretty hefty work with our yellows. And you've got to remember that in this circumstance, the team that you have of Brittany and Alf does count towards your full total of Pikmin on the field available. So just keep that in mind. You won't be able to have much more than that. So we're going to need to do some work today. One of the things that I wanted to do, here's a gate. Here's an example of a gate that's been destroyed. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do today is to finish the bridges and there's some fruit that we could collect. There was some fruit already that you might have seen that would have been useful to have. And we're gonna need this brand of Pikmin, I guess, or species, I guess, I don't know, brand, is that offensive? Who knows? It would have been nice to have the yellows to be able to do that. So first things first, we're actually gonna take out, no, we're going to take out one of these guys, the Swamp Rat Electric Doodle Magoos. I don't know, I have no idea what these are called to be honest. Okay, well that wasn't quite enough, quite long enough of a throw. So remember, uh, yellows aren't quite our, uh, our guys for throwing and doing damages, but that's okay. We still gotta find a way to make them feel like they're helping us progress. So that's good. So we'll have them swarm around some of this nectar, get them all caught up. I don't have a way to really get them back to the yellow onion yet. So we're going to avoid trying to do that in the present. There's no real sense to doing that yet because they'll just get kind of trapped. So now that we've got both tunnels, I thought that that was a tunnel that I wasn't equipped to do, but no, it actually turns out that it's a different one. So that's very good. So over here, if you guys remember, there is a peculiar looking thing up here, which we'll have to get in a moment once our trusty handy dandy yellows can take down this gate. That'll open this up a lot 
this area over here was the one where, with Brittany, we were finding ourselves kind of trapped. I actually want to grab some rocks, too, just in case we have any sort of obstacles in the way that would impede our progress. So we've got a good healthy team of all three. It's fun to kind of split up and do stuff, but um, I also like to kind of stick with what I've got, if entirely possible. We're, we're at a little bit of a loss here in the present because there isn't a ton that we can do without those bridges being built. Those are kind of the big thing that we need. So we're going to try to do that. We got one of these uh, whatever mites, joust mites here. You got to be careful because if you give it too much of an opening, it will eat your Pikmin. And we don't want that. I would like it to slow down a little bit so that way I can go after. Nope. Oh, he just knocked our Rick, Rock Pikmin. Rick Pikmin. He, he knocked our Rick Pikmin away. He can hang out down there for a little bit. That's fine. Looks like there's actually some sort of device over here, which we'll have to come back for. And there's some delicious looking grapes. But unfortunately, we cannot get those quite yet. That'll be on an eventual visit, but that's okay. So now that we're on this side, we should be able to use our yellows to hopefully get up there and get us that delicious looking orb. Whatever that could be. Who knows? Looks like... Maybe they can climb up there. It would be cool if you could do your heckin' jobs, guys. I don't know how, how much better I could throw it, unless it's not meant to be from this side. Oh, there it goes. All right, good job, fellas. That's what I'm talking about. That's teamwork. We'll come around the other side, though, and grab it, because I don't know if this is the intended way. But we will need to swap Pikmin in a moment with Brittany across the way. The... The bridge area that we're trying to complete with the other half is easier to do from her perspective. So that's something that we'll that we'll want to accomplish. But we've got that new fruit. We did pretty good with that one. We'll leave that pellet just for the moment. And there's some there's some glass area up there that we can break as well, but that's not something we're gonna do just yet. So I'm actually going to give Brittany a decent haul of what we've got left. So we use the yellows to get that fruit. I could have probably done that in a more efficient order. But, I mean, what fun is doing the game correctly? And just in case she needs it, we're going to throw some rocks over there. Give her some reds. A little bit of plurality here with our team. That's very good. You want to have a little bit of everything. I was actually afraid right there that I was going to have whistled the team into the water, so I'm glad I did not do that. That was very good of me to not make that mistake. But we're actually going to be careful and get out of here because there are, I forget what those are, gigantic rock spewing buttholes up at the top that will not hesitate to ruin your day. So down here, going this direction, this is right next to where the where you emerge to have the yellows. So here, we have another joust might if you guys are, remember these guys. It's been a while since we fought one. Hopefully your memories aren't too jarred from two and a half minutes ago. And now we have the ability to at least complete most of our side of the bridge, or our Brittany's side of the bridge. Very nice. I'm actually gonna send some of the yellows with this joust might, because I would like to proliferate more of them, or propagate. I don't know. I feel like those words probably don't mean the same thing, but you know, it is what it is. So we'll have them carry that pellet. And our Pikmin are having the time of their heckin' short lives here. Because they've already built that bridge. They can... Some of them can come over the lip of the, of the pot. But some of them just don't quite get it. Those ones are a little slower, but that's okay. We still love them nonetheless. So we're going to head back now. We should have most of the bridge pretty much done. So that's actually looking really good. So it looks like we need one set a piece of red pieces, one set a piece of blue pieces, and that should be a bridge donezo. 
So we're going to travel all the way up here. We're going to try to be very careful here because this is pretty annoying having to deal with. Um, oh boy. There's a whole lot of madness going on right now. Nope. Nope. No, sir. No, sir. But I will charge you. Oh, that didn't do anything. No! That's bad. Well, he just ate a bunch of my Pikmin, and I don't like that. A bunch of my yellows. It's okay. We will use your corpse for, uh... To get the rest of that going. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. You sacrificed your lives. But it wasn't for nothing. Don't worry. We'll have everybody go back. And, uh... We'll be careful here. We'll be careful here. I'm gonna actually want to... Whistle these reds so they don't get murdered themselves. Oh, stay out of the way. All right, all right. Here we go. Things are getting a little hairy. Don't you do it. All right, and that's the bridge. So apparently it was just those last five pieces of the red one. So now we can do one full team, and it seems like that cutscene actually benefited us because now we don't have to worry about things getting kind of crazy with them... Um, them ball shooters. But yeah, I'm actually going to have my yellows be the ones to take point on this one. Nope. Nope. We'll have a little bit of the other colors, but primarily I want the yellows to take this one because they needed them. Oh, actually, I need one more yellow. I had a bunch of them get eaten by that guy, so we will use his corpse to make more in revenge. It's one of the sad things about this game, though, is I'm always a little bummed out when my Pikmin get gobbled up, because you don't want that. Because this is all that we have. You can come down here, thank you very much. Yes, so... We're gonna want to get all of our pick eh. all, all but one, because we don't have enough space, so that's fine. That is fine. We're actually gonna go back up there and get revenge on those rock shooters, and... There was a... Peculiar-looking orangey-yellow thing up top that we're going to investigate. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give the remaining amount of yellows that we need to catch up. And so now we can actually have Alf from over here. We don't have to worry about the bridge situation anymore, at least not in the way that it was. It's not a bridge too far, thankfully, and we can reunite. Thankfully, we have not burnt any bridges, which is very good. We're only building them because we're just so progressive. So now you can actually use the pellets that have been around. You can gather some more of the fruit, etc. So now we've got a pretty almost full stock team. The rest of those yellows are obviously inside the cavern where they're making more. So we're gonna be very careful here and we're gonna try to knock out these jerk bugs up here as fast as we can. Kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. I'm not really a big bugs person, but I, you know. So that was that was pretty quick. All right, let's get back in order. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is chaos. This is pure chaos. So anyway, while he's shooting all kinds of nonsense, we're just gonna take him out. Yeah. How you like that, big guy? That's right. That's what I'm talking about. So that was a quick kill. Very good. Everybody, pretty much intact. We'll come up on the other side and take Dominion over their corpses, as we always do, because we're Grave Robin. So let's check out what this thing has to say. So this is from that strange captain that we talked to that one time, and or not talked to, but heard about. So let's read a little bit about it. It says, a note from Captain Olimar, whoever that is. Parting gift. We found a snow sculpture in this frozen tundra. It looks like the face of a middle-aged man. One that I know all too well. The more I look at it, the more I think it looks like the president of Hogatate Freight. Especially that nose. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder who you could be referring to. I have no idea. Because this is the first time I've ever played Pikmin. Or something. Right? It's the suspension of belief, everybody. That's part of the game. You gotta do it. So I have nine yellows. And I have a curious... Looking fruit here. So let's go ahead and knock it down. And claim the reward. And then here's just another example of when you can throw your leader and 
what that does. We're gonna give the remaining yellows to Brittany. And now that we know how to do what we're doing, we have the ability to dig stuff out with yellows, that's nice, and to climb up ledges and to not submerge our Pikmin in the watery grave. We don't do that anymore. That's called growth, everybody. So uh, let's show some respect for how far we've come. Yeah. And pat yourselves on the back too. You've been along for the ride as well. This is not a solo journey, so I don't want to take all the credit. But it appears we've got another similar fruit here. Another red one, another orange one. And what's nice is with the building of that bridge, we don't have to worry about throwing back and forth here anymore. The Pikmin can go right up the bridge into where the Drake is. And that's that. That's pretty handy. So let's go in here real quick and see how many of those yellows we were able to... to gather. Quite a few, actually. And some reds who were mixed up in the group. It's very nice. Good job, guys. It's a pretty solid concoction. Nice combination. So we've got those two stemmed fruits, which is cool, whatever those are. And then that orange one. So we're doing pretty well, actually. I'm going to head back to that area where Brittany was. And there was another one of those uh, big metal balls that were in the area in the way of those rock shooters. So, and now, just to be clear, I'm not being intentionally obtuse about what those rock shooters are called. I literally don't know what their names are. So, uh, yeah. Just to give you guys a heads up on all of that, I am very horrible with names as I've made, tried to make clear numerous times. It's just not quite my forte. When it comes to playing video games, I'm not very good with lore and things of that nature. So this should be good. Now that Brittany has got a good, healthy team of yellows, we should be able to push this here. I think that's enough. Was that 20? Okay, a little more than 20. That's very good. So we should be able to access a new area from pushing that rock. But we're not going to go in that area yet because it looks a little scary. I'm kind of bugged out by it, and I don't really want to get involved with that yet. And besides, this episode, we've made a heckin' ton of progress. Three fruits. We killed a bunch of goobers. We made some bridges. Yeah, guys, this is incredible. How often do you get to see this happen in a Let's Play? This might be the first time this has ever happened in the way that it is. According to me, in a very short-sighted explanation of how things work. So that's very good. The only downside is I wish I could see total how many I have. Okay. So it looks like we're kind of batting around the high 80s and 90s with the rocks and reds, which is pretty good. I don't really feel like I need any more of them currently, but I do know that in the area uh, before where there were those rock slugs over here, well, I guess there's this. We did kill this joust mite, so we might as well take advantage of the goodies you get from that. Now, here's another mechanic in this game as well. So there are these sticks in the ground. Now, being aware of what these sticks do and learning this mechanic now is useful because it'll actually become a mechanic that you'll, that you'll use later. It's something that you will wind up having to do in a different capacity later, but it's not super useful in the present. There's not really a ton that we can do. We'll have to be coming from a different direction for that to actually be useful. Unless, I'm trying to remember exactly how all of this goes. Now, there are there is some fruit up there. So, it would be nice to be able to go and get that, but I don't think that we're going to have quite the amount of time that I'd like today. So let's make sure that we've got everybody here. We, in this the circle of safety, let's assemble all. I don't really know how effective this is, but uh, I'm going to throw Alf, and I'm going to go pop into Yellowville real quick and make sure that we've got the full amount. So we've got 97 here with Brittany. That means that there should be three, potentially three yellows in the cave, just hanging out, having a good time, maybe. If not, then hopefully they don't become a snack for one of them nasty bull borbs. Let's check out real quick who we got. There's two. Okay, so we're missing someone. 
We gotta go on a bit of a rescue mission here. That's a bit of a fun little slide. I didn't know that was there. That's cool. See so yeah, this mission's actually been pretty effective today. Today we accomplished a lot. And I like days like that. It's fun when you've got a good, healthy amount. Oh, that's actually everybody. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. Um, well, I guess in the process, might as well just harvest these pellets while we're at it. There's nothing else better to do. So we'll make some more rocks. Rocks are one of my favorite new types. I think that they did. I mean, there's only two new types, to be honest. But I think they did a really nice job in kind of making something fun. After today, the yellow onion and the other two, the rock onion and the red onion, will all assimilate. So you don't have to worry about that. But we've got all of our Pikmin here together in one happy little family. Come on, let's go. We've got a little bit of time to come back up here and make sure everybody's whistled in. I really like the, the mechanic of being able to whistle from the ship. I don't know... I'll have to go back and play it and check, but I don't know if the if the Pikmin 3 version on Wii U had that as an option. If it did, I am a massive failure because I never used it. I probably lost a ton of Pikmin that way, but that's okay. We did lose some today, which is unfortunate, but overall, very successful day. Took out some enemies, cleared some areas, built some bridges, got some fruit. Pat yourselves in the back, everybody. Did a great job. That was day six. No treats for you, buddy boy. Sorry about your luck. One of your kind already decided to wipe out a few. I'm actually not sure how many we lost. I want to say it's probably at least a dozen, which is unfortunate. But hey, that's the cost of doing business, which is kind of sad to think. because like that, you know, these are quote unquote sentient beings that are being eaten. So I shouldn't really be saying that. It is kind of cruel, but you know unfortunate but hey there you go we've got a triad of onions here it's a little bit bigger kind of a gross combination of colors but here we go some new fruits everybody let's check them out what do we have we have the cupid's grenade which i think is fun for those of you who are unsure what this is that's a cherry put that on your sundae can't really eat ice cream as I myself am very lactose intolerant. I love the idea. And if I take a supplement, I can have it. But if I don't, I'm going to punish my friends. So there you go. But yeah, we've got five different types of fruits. That's an Achievo. We got two cherries today, which is fun. Cherries don't really give you a ton of juice. That's only about half a capsule, which is okay. But we have the Velvety Dream Drop, which if I read correctly online, it's something called this a loquat or a kumquat, I don't know, something quat, squat quat, I have no idea, but hey, we got it. And I'm sure they're delicious, I've never had one. I think it'd actually be pretty fun to try all the fruits in this let's play at some point. Be quite an adventure, maybe make yourself a nice fruit salad. So now we've got Brittany in tow. We have a nice additional buffer of juice. And, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty great, everybody. We're doing pretty great. So let's see the statistics of what happened. So it looks like we lost eight. That's unfortunate. So rest in peace, eight yellows that were gobbled up by that weird aardvark anteater. Full board. So here we go. Let's go ahead and read today's journal entry. Looks like this one's coming from Alf. We finally completed the bridge over to the other shore. And Brittany discovered a type of yellow Pikmin. Besides their big ears, I'm excited to find out what other unique characteristics they may possess. I'll have to observe them closely. Good thing they're so cute to look at. Whew, what a day. Signed, Elf. All right. And because we completed it today, that means that we are treated to the very reassuring and comfortable saving screen. So that's it for the day. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.